Wow, an incredibly hot topic over the past few weeks has been the issue if we can, as small content creators, legally produce video and other type of imagery in our national parks. Well, there's been a few updates on that issue, and I want to give a shout out to a couple of channels. But first, I'm James Fisher, and this is Vintage Insight Photography. And on this channel, that's exactly what we offer, is vintage insight into photographic techniques to help make you a better photographer, be that film photography or digital photography, and even some video photography techniques as well. Our national parks here in the United States are truly that. They're treasures to be seen and treasured by all. That's why the national parks were set up by President Theodore Roosevelt and further enhanced by his cousin, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Just the idea that small content creators would be fined for helping promote the beauty of our national parks is just inconceivable to me. And it appears that that tide may be changing. In case you don't know about this important issue, a few years ago, a filmmaker, Gordon Price, was fined by the National Park Service for using as a small portion in a documentary he filmed, filming a site of a Civil War battle that happens to be a national park. The NPS fined him for this, but he did appeal that and won a ruling that allowed small content creators to film in national parks as it was considered free speech. That ruling was later overturned, and that's where all this hullabaloo has come from. Now, this is an incredibly important issue because a lot of people don't realize how many national parks we have and where they are. And if the ruling stands and is interpreted by the letter, how much that's going to impact and affect any type of videography on federal lands. This is the official app for the National Park Service. In this, you can find parks and look at where they are so you can find a park and then look by state, for instance. Well, let's take an example of the District of Columbia, and it says there's 36 results found. That means there's 36 national parks or monuments in that small geographic area alone of the District of Columbia. These include the African-American Civil War Memorial, Anacosta, the Belmont Paul Woman's Equality National Monument, the Capitol Hill Parks, as we scroll down, Chesapeake Bay, the Constitution Gardens, the Civil War Defenses of Washington. Let's scroll down. The Franklin Delano, Delano Roosevelt Memorial. The Korean War Veterans Memorial. The Lincoln Memorial. The Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. The National Mall and Memorial Parks. That means if this ruling is upheld by the letter, Anyone would need a permit to do any filming in these areas if there's any chance of it being monetized. Now, a lot of people don't really understand what that means to be monetized or filming for commercial intent. And that's one of the difficulties is that it's kind of nebulous and gray. Even the Park Service doesn't lay it out clearly. But if you read it again by the letter of the law, then any video that has a potential to be commercialized is a commercial video shoot. Since YouTube and TikTok are actually profit-making ventures, any video posted on those sites, if the creator is monetized or not, becomes a commercial video and requires a permit. Most of the parks say that there's no fee for the permit for small content creators who are one or two people or a husband and wife team, for instance, like Michelle and I, who are going to be going out and doing photography and travel vlogs of our national parks and other areas. But the difficulty is, if you want to be legal, you need to file for that permit. And most parks have a filing fee for these permits. And it varies anything I've seen from $90 at the low that I found so far to $300 at the high that I found so far. Now, I need to give a shout out to a couple different channels. The best the best video that I've seen that truly explains this whole process and what it means and legally and the possibilities of this being overturned is Jevin Dovey's channel. Jevin does photography and videography tutorials here on YouTube, and I'll put a link to his channel right here. And really, it's a great channel. Now, there's another channel that I was in communication with, and that's the New State Nomads. And I'll put a link to their channel right here. And I was in communication with them, and they are in the process of filming 51 national parks across this great United States. 
and so far they're doing it with the full blessing of the National Park Service. They've been assessed so far no permit fees for any of the filming that they're doing in national parks and because of this open communication they're doing with the national parks, their filing fees so far have been waived. Now that's great news for us small content creators and really would be welcome, welcome relief. In my previous video I did on this subject, I suggested a letter writing campaign to our U.S. representatives and senators who can affect this issue. I still do recommend that and I've got a link right down in the description below and in the pinned comment, the first comment below as well. Please take the time to download these letters, write them in your own words, and send them either by email or snail mail to your U.S. Senators and your U.S. Representative. In this packet, I've also included two specific letters to the chair and the ranking member of the Senate committee that oversees the national parks. To me, this is a First Amendment issue. And more than that, there are people out there who can't travel for whatever reason. They may be ill, they may be elderly, they may have some type of disability that doesn't allow them to travel. And the only way they can experience these national parks is through videos that a number of us creators are making to help people experience the national parks. Also, these videos can help educate people as how best to navigate the national parks and be sure of the very important things that they want to see. And I truly want to thank each and every one of you who's already downloaded these letters and taken the time to write to your senators and U.S. representative. I know it means the world to me and other content creators out there as well. Because I know that you're a lover of national parks, I've got a video right here of an experience that Michelle and I had at one of our national parks or monuments. I'm James Fisher for Vintage Insight Photography. As always, keep focused. Thanks for being here.